In this video, I'm going to show you the basic features and what to edit for a Pardot form. And so if you're in Pardot Lightning here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the content tab and then you'll navigate to forms. You'll see a list of forms that you have in the system as well as a add form button if you would like to create a brand new form. And so for this video, we're going to hit add form. And I'm just going to walk you through just a high level of what everything is. So you're going to pick a name for your form. Um, of course, a folder for organization purposes. Um, and then your tracker domain. It should uh, just be your current primary domain. And then you will pick a campaign to associate this asset, this form, to. It's important for reporting purposes that you do pick um, a uh, campaign um, that is correct for this specific form. So you'll hit next. And here in this field area, this is where you're going to choose what fields are displayed for prospects to fill out and how they uh, their data comes into the system. So um, you'll start out by either if you have some fields in here that you want to move around the order, you can hit the um, triangles to move those around. Or you can hit delete if you don't want these fields. You do have to have an email field for Pardot Forms. Um, so you cannot delete that one. And then you can also edit here by clicking this uh, little pencil. I'll show you again. Here, the label name, that's what's going to be displayed to the prospect that is filling out your form. Whereas this prospect field, that's what field in the system this data is going to go into and then carry over into Salesforce based on your mappings in your Pardot setting fields. Um, if you have a drop down type, so here's where the field uh, type is chosen, um, you can load default data for this field. Um, and then it will show up in the values area where you can add or remove them. You can also require or not require fields. Um, but be wary that if you do require fields, um, um, one is harder for the user if there's more, but also um, syncing with Salesforce might be a bit tricky based on your system. Um, and then in this advanced area, you can um, choose if you want to display this field, even if they have already completed this previously. There's progressive and dependent tabs here where you can really get into some more advanced form work. You can add new fields here. And then after you're done with uh, creation of fields for the form, you'll hit next and you're going to choose how this form looks. So you'll choose a layout template. And if you don't know exactly what that means, but that is um, coded of how it is branded on your screen. So colors and fonts and um, spacing and all of that. And then you will hit the submit button text. So this will appear on the button when someone wants to submit the form. So you can choose like register or just plain old submit. The above and below form tabs here allow you to add text before your fields and after your fields. Styles lets you pick some branding here. And Advanced offers a few great um, features, one being the kiosk mode if you're at a trade show and this form's being completed on an iPad provided by the company. Um, you can click this kiosk mode so that no one gets cookied and the form keeps reappearing. People can um, submit back to back to back without being cookied. Um, you can also enable reCAPTCHA here. And then you'll hit next.
Then this um, completion action areas of your form is what's going to happen after the form is submitted. So you can choose your thank you content to be displayed right on the window that they are in. Or if you already have a URL to a branded thank you page that you really like on your website, you can hit this and add the URL and instead of displaying this message, it can redirect to that. Then completion actions um, can live on a form. So as soon as someone submits the form, it's automatically going to apply these actions. So you can add them to a list, adjust their score, add them to a campaign, um, as responded or sent, um, add tags, oh, you can get really into the weeds here, um, but some cool things are also, you can change fields, so say this form was just for um, an advertising piece that you did, you can change their field, source field, to advertisement. Um, you can assign to a queue in Salesforce, pushing this prospect from Pardot into Salesforce. Then you can hit next and it will display um, a little bit, a snippet of what all you chose for this form. You will hit confirm and save. And then you can view this form online. It will not be pretty um, probably because um, it doesn't live on a landing page at the moment, but you can view it online. You can view the report of views. You can also hit the upside down triangle to view the HTML code in which you can grab and put on your website. And that's it for forms for now. Let us know if you like the video, if you have any suggestions or would like us to dig deeper. Thanks.